Uh, we were touching on Arsenal there earlier on. We'll come to that in just a second. There's focus on the back page of the Times. There's also focus on the back page of the Sun on VAR. Could we go a show without saying VAR? Yeah. Every time we do it, we should take a shot. VAR pain is intense. Clop wrap under canvas. Also back page of the Sun this morning. Gloomtown rat Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants to know how Manchester United have blown 1.4 billion in the transfer market. Ken Lawrence saying that in the back page of the Sun. Ken Lawrence, mm-hmm. uh, he goes back a few years. There you go. Um, back page of the Mail. Klopp fury, but Reds deserve to lose and to lose. To lose the plot is the back page of the Mirror, and back page of the Express is a bad way to lose. But let's focus on the back page of the Times. An exclusive here by Martin Ziegler. Arteta wrong on VAR call. So the decision to award Newcastle United's controversial winner against Arsenal has been supported by the Premier League's independent key match instant panel. Whoever on earth who's that? Are, who are they? Name names. Don't, don't. Who is it? Who are you? However, the panel's report, which has been seen by the Times, also concluded that the referees Stuart Atwell and VAR's Andy Madley should have sent off Arsenal's Kai Havertz and Newcastle's Bruno Gomairish. So that would have changed the game dramatically, but either yeah. way, the goal still would have stood. Oh, right away, just on can that you goal, get, I thought you, it was offside. Can you get goal line technology right across the, the line? You got it in the goal, obviously, but mm. can't you just get it right along the pitch. We're saying like you could get one of those trolley dollies. And that it's you not. See in film we've, sets, we've, with technology now, it's so much easier to just to do it, isn't it? I mean, it might cost a little bit of money, but every single club's got it because uh, it doesn't happen every week that the oh, you're arguing about where the, whether the ball's out. I thought it was a foul as well. Yeah, I thought it was offside. <laughs> well, they couldn't. Thought they the could, ball was out of play. What was, yeah, well, what, what was, what was the what was the um, decision that they couldn't find out because there's too many players in a the line? They couldn't. They, oh, couldn't, they uh, couldn't do the just, lines. But it's, it's just getting. That's what they come much. out with. Didn't it's they? getting too much. Anyway, what else we got, Shaman? Let's focus on uh, Rashford. He's on the back page of the Sun today. Gareth Southgate saying Rash has to buck up his ideas. Oh. Gareth Southgate. He's brought him in, even though he's a little bit under fire. He's out of form at the moment. He's not out of form for England, though, is he? He's no. a different player and. He was a bit unlucky, in my opinion, for a red card. So I don't know why. Mm. I, don't I thought know he was why, unlucky. I don't know why we read I thought he was unlucky. I, I, it's just, it's a, a normal striker's challenge. Yeah. Isn't it? And he was a little you're bit protecting late, the ball. You're not you're not booting the guy. Yeah, you're putting your foot I, I down. It, so you've got your leg in front of the player and the ball. I reckon. I do reckon. You know, Southgate would have had Rashford in the squad beforehand, but he's got one goal this season. Now he's had one sending off. His stats aren't looking good. Also, the celebrations yeah, but, after the second yeah, but game. Shabani, goal his his stats are not looking good. Mm-hmm. What were some of the players that um, Gareth picks? Yeah, exactly. What sort of stats <laughs> have they got? Three assists in the reserves, mm-hmm. sitting on the bench. Mm. Also, England have qualified. Would you have liked to have seen a little bit more of a shake up? I mean, Raheem Sterling's still yeah. not in the squad. What on earth that, does thought, he have to do? No, no, no. He's no. bombed out now. Forget it. There's yeah, no there, way, there's, there's something there's, there's no something there. There's, there's no something way there. Back. It's a little bit like Ben White and people like that, isn't it? Where I don't think he's, he's, gonna he's, play. he's playing as well as I've seen him sterling. Mm. And he can't get in. Something's wrong. So come out and tell us what's wrong. Is it because he left early from the England camp? Is that the problem? If it is, tell us. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I, I reckon it would be. I reckon it would be. Something like that. And Ben White went home early as well, didn't he? And I don't think he'd be a feature in now um, yeah. in England. Why he's manager. So look, there's there's lots of um, politics in football where managers fall out with players and and that's that's how it is in club level and probably the same as in international. And also nobody will be disputing the fact that Harry Maguire got his call up because actually since Southgate came out and defended him public publicly, Ten Hag has done the same. His form has been much better. It's amazing now that you know he wasn't playing. Now he's he's, he's well needed, isn't he? In in Manchester United, he's mm. probably one of the first on the list at the centre half. Just yeah. shows you how your career can, cr- can change very quickly. I think, and I'll he's be, done well, wasn't uh, yeah. he? Because let's give him credit. Harry didn't come out moaning. He, he didn't sulk. He just got on with it, and uh, he's got back in the side. And he's probably a key player from there. Manchester United have to beat Luton. If they don't, oh. Ten Hag is a goner. Do you think? Yes. He's Final a goner. Stop. He won't go, right? No. Here's, a, here's a prediction. He won't go, in my opinion, from what I hear, before Before-fall. December, right? But after December 1, he's in big danger. And if he loses this weekend, does it sound like his job is on the line? Well, I, th- I don't think it's going to happen until after December. So I'm talking about uh. financial. Mm. I mean, well, you've got, the, uh, you've got the international break now, haven't you? And Next it's week. at Old Trafford. I mean, they have to beat Luton at Old Trafford and they're starting to starting to just pick up the points mm. now. So it's going to be, it's Listen, going to be a good game. I have nothing against Ten Hag, but I, I, th- I honestly believe they're not playing for him. And I, I think the dressing room, he's lost the, de- the dressing room. Rasmus Said Hoyland. that before. 
and I th- I'm sure he's lost it. Mm. Rasmus Hoyland came out and said today, we all stand and we all back the manager. But when you start to hear players say that, mm. that's when we start to see more pressure piling yeah. on a manager. Yeah, listen, he's probably a great guy, lovely guy. I don't know him at all, but that, that's what I'm hearing. Um, he, he's got to be, and he's got to have a good result. And then it's international break, isn't it? Mm. And after that, off the top of my head, I'll find out who United have got after the international break. But he's on thin ice, make no mistake. Okay, mm. big one against Luton at Old Trafford this yeah. weekend. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.